you know, uh, I have seen some young men claim that uh, the dream is to get paid in dollars. But here in Africa, it's a lot hell different. In US, they call the, the in US they call this corn, you know. Yeah, the climatic conditions of uh, US allow the farming of corn. Ah. <laughs> so we we did not spray our maize, you know. Here we do everything organically, right? That's why you see uh, it has uh, this one. It's a proof of life, you know. This maze is uh, safe for consumption. The way you see, uh, there, there are some drugs they are putting on meat, on a human meat, so that uh, and, uh, flies cannot step on them. I believe it's very dangerous for human consumption, but here, we do organic farming. You see, this is not a GMO maze. It's a Native maize, you know, the way European brought it here, it's the way it is. Another one. It's very tiresome. We need muscles. You know, this land is very big. I need to harvest 20. I'll go, I'll, I'll boil some, I'll roast some. You know, the, the sweetness of maize, they say is uh, eating one seed at a time, one seed at a time, one seed at a time. The way it happens with groundnuts, you know. If we applied chemicals, you would never see those things. But everything is organic. We did not apply fertilizer in this farm. We just uh, put in manure. But I believe uh, organic farming is not a solution, you know, to uh, fighting old hunger. Because uh, in this uh, farm, we are not expecting high yield, you know. It's for subsistence use. And uh, if you come to think of it, uh, this kind of farming cannot change the world, you know. I'm not again against the GMO or other methods of human uh, of, of farming. I think as long as it is good for human health or it doesn't affect human health in any way, they can do it. Because uh, this thing cannot feed the, the, the world, you know. We need these huge maze crops. You know? Yeah.